Howdy Highland. Hope everyone is doing well. So I'm going to do my best with this. Pardon me if I have to pull away and clear my throat uh, from time to time. Uh, hashtag COPD sucks. So anyway, try to ignore the lazy dog sleeping back there. And uh, this is going to be posted on YouTube. And the reason why is because even long time viewers of our new show is going to be able to benefit from some of the information in this video. So bear with me and forgive me if I'm not always looking at the camera because I'll be reading some stuff and all of that and that's all off to the side and yada yada yada. So anyway, first off, I have caught quite a bit of flack uh, here in the group lately typically from one particular political side and uh and it would seem that they're a little bit shocked by the way i respond the way that i handle things and we're going to get in i'm going to talk about the meeting the council meeting last night all that's coming this is going to be a little bit give me a, just just give me a few minutes to be able to um explain a little bit about me and where i come from and um, and then we'll get into the stuff about the meeting, which is there. There's good stuff to report, but not a lot of stuff to report. So fair enough. So give me a moment just to explain me a little bit so that you better understand. By the way, wouldn't this make an incredible webcam shot? That would be so awesome if we had a live webcam from that angle. It would be awesome. Let me bring this up. I, um, <clears throat> pardon me. I took a test, uh, I don't know, I guess it was maybe a week or so ago. And I'll leave a link to my, uh, profile or whatever you want to call it, my results of the test. I'll leave this link, uh, for you to check out at your own leisure. However, I thought it did such an incredible job of, of really laying out who I am. And I recommend anybody and everybody take this test. You will learn so much about yourself. Uh, but like anything else, in or, you know, it's what you put into it that you get out of it. Okay, so if you put a bunch of lies into it, you're going to get a bunch of lies out of it. So be as honest as you can when answering the questions. And you will be amazed at how, how accurate that it, it just pegs you. So, I am what is referred to as an INTJ-A architect, okay? The A after the INTJ stands for assertive. You can be assertive or turbulent. And I am 82% assertive. So, I want to make that quick clarification. And all I'm going to do here... Is I want to read the first, you know, like I think there's three or four paragraphs that's on this page. That's all I want to do. And that way you will have such a better understanding of who I am, uh, my mindset, and how I approach things. Because that's important. I don't have a single nefarious motivation or thought in my mind with anything that I'm doing as far as the group is concerned or the, uh, the Highland Patriots website is concerned. <clears throat> We're going to talk about that a little bit too, uh, a little bit later. I don't have anything nefarious in mind. All I want to do is, is make sure that the right things are being done for the individuals of the town. It's just one of those drives that I have, believe it or not, to do the right thing. And I know a lot of people might be thinking, but, 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 yeah, but you don't know shit about me. So let me, uh, let me introduce you to a little bit of, uh, of me. <clears throat> Again, I am an INTJ-A architect. It says, people with the INTJ personality types, architects, are intellectually curious individuals with a deep-seated thirst for knowledge. INTJs tend to value creative ingenuity, straightforward rationality, and self-improvement. They consistently work towards enhancing intellectual abilities and are often driven by an intense desire to master any and every topic that piques their interest. Logical and quick-witted, INTJs pride themselves on their ability to think for themselves, not to mention their uncanny knack for seeing right through phoniness and hypocrisy. Hmm. 
Because their minds are never at rest, these personalities may sometimes struggle to find people who can keep up with their non-stop analysis of everything around them. That's a fact. But when they do find like-minded individuals who appreciate their intensity and depth of thought, INTJs form profound and intellectually stimulating relationships that they deeply treasure. Another fact. INTJs question most things, basing their beliefs on solid evidence, reasoning, and rationality. Many personality types trust the status quo, relying on conventional wisdom and other people's expertise to guide their lives. But ever skeptical INTJ personalities prefer to make their own discoveries in their quest to find better ways of doing things. They aren't afraid to break the rules or risk disapproval. In fact, they often rather enjoy it. <laughs> fact. <laughs> but as anyone with this personality type would tell you, a new idea isn't worth anything unless it actually works. INTJs want to be successful, not just inventive. They bring a single-minded drive to their work, applying the full force of their insight, logic, and willpower. They have little patience for anyone who tries to slow them down by enforcing pointless rules or offering poorly thought-out criticism, though astute observations are generally welcome. Fact. People with the INTJ personality type, independent to the core, want to shake off other people's expectations and pursue their own ideas. This personality type comes with a strong independent streak. INTJs don't mind acting alone. In fact, they prefer their own company most of the time, perhaps in part because they don't like waiting around for others to catch up with them. Fact. Per people with this personality type often have no problem making decisions without asking for anyone else's input. At times, this lone wolf behavior can come across as insensitive as it fails to take into consideration others' thoughts, desires, and plans. Fact. It would be a mistake, however, to view INTJ personalities as uncaring. <clears throat> Whatever the stereotypes about their stoic intellect, they feel deeply. When things go wrong or when they hurt others, they are personally affected and spend much time and energy trying to figure out why things happened the way they did. These personalities may not always value emotion as a decision-making tool, and they have a very hard time relating to people who lead with their hearts, but they are still authentically human. Fact, and you see me talk about it all the time, you know, don't make emotional decisions. Make logical, rational decisions. <clears throat> I talk about it all the time. And we don't have much for further, so just bear with me. INTJs can both be the boldest of dreamers and the bitterest of pessimists. They believe that, through willpower and intelligence, they can achieve even the most challenging goals. They are firm believers that taking the easy way out in any given situation prevents people from achieving greatness. But these personalities may, may be cynical about human nature more generally, assuming that most people are lazy, unimaginative, or simply doomed to mediocrity. Fact. <laughs> people with the INTJ personality type derive much of their self-esteem from their knowledge and mental acuity. In school, they may have been called bookworms or nerds. Now, let me address this, because there's a lot of people that went to school with me that would be like, but, 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 but again, you don't know shit. <laughs> I was a nerd or a geek to the core. The only thing I was missing... Uh, was the appropriate clothing and the pocket protector. That's it. Um, a lot of people might recall me as a stoner, and I was. Absolutely to the core, 100%. I won't deny that, nor would I ever change it. However, <clears throat> there was an inner me that I wouldn't let known to anybody. And the reason why is because, and I'm sure it's still this way today, the people that got picked on the most were the geeks and the nerds. And so I wanted to avoid that at all costs. So I kind of latched on to the stoners because, well, that was part of who I was. I mean, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't fake. I wasn't phony. But uh, indeed, I was truly a geek slash nerd. So for those that didn't know. 
Uh, but rather than <clears throat> but rather than taking these labels as insults, many people with this type embrace them. Not back then, I didn't. They recognize their own ability to teach themselves about and master any topic that interests them, whether that's coding or capillary, I don't even know what the hell that is, or classical music. That's a fact most people don't know about me. I love classical music. Uh, let's see. INTJs don't just learn new things for show. They genuinely enjoy expanding the limits of their knowledge, which that is a fact. Most of the time... Um, People have no idea what it is that I've learned how to do, the new trick, if you will, that I've learned how to do, because I don't learn how to do it for them. I learn how to do it for something for myself, a project I have for myself. <coughs> I have more skills than people could even imagine because I'm not afraid to apply myself, and I'm not afraid to sit there and teach myself. It's just what it is. In their seemingly constant pursuit of knowledge, people with this personality type can sometimes be single-minded with little patience for frivolity, uh, distractions, or idle gossip. Fact, I can't stand gossip. Keep it away from me. That said, they're far from dull or humorless. Yeah, I've got a real twisted sense of humor, but it's definitely there. Uh, many INTJ personalities are known for their irrelevant wit and beneath their serious exteriors, they often have sharp, delightful, sarcastic, uh, de delightfully sarcastic sense of humor. <clears throat> Fact. INTJs aren't known for being warm and fuzzy. They tend to prioritize rationality and success over politeness and pleasantries. In other words, they'd rather be right than popular. Hmm. Uh, and because of these personality value truth and doubt, um... <clears throat> Many common social practices, from small talk to white lies, may seem pointless or downright stupid to them. As a result, they may inadvertently come, off, uh, come across as rude or even offensive when they're only trying to be honest. All the time. At times, people with the INTJ personality type may wonder whether dealing with other people is even worth the frustration. Fact. But like any personality type, INTJs do crave social interaction. They just prefer to surround themselves with people who share their values and priorities. Often they can achieve this by just being themselves. When they pursue their interests, their authenticity can draw people to them, professionally, socially, and even romantically. <coughs> Pardon me. And this is the last section here. I know, boing, 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 right? Take the test. People with the INTJ personality type are full of contradictions. They are imaginative yet decisive, ambitious yet private, and curious yet focused. From the outside, these contradictions may seem baffling, but they make perfect sense once you understand the inner workings of this personality type's mind. For these personalities, life is like a giant game of chess. <coughs> Pardon me. Relying on strategy rather than chance, INTJs contemplate their, uh, the strengths and weaknesses of each move before they make it. They never lose faith that with enough ingenuity and insight, they can find a way to win, no matter what challenges might arise along the way. That's a fact. And I would have never, ever, ever in a million years thought that I could have taken a test that didn't take that long, by the way, and it's totally free. <coughs> could nail me down as accurate as what this did. I was, I was absolutely shocked. I wouldn't recommend it to you uh, if that wasn't the case. So I'll leave a link to my profile in the description of, uh, or, you know, in the, uh, yeah, the description of this video. And you can go and take the test yourself. You can read up a little bit more about the wackiness that makes up me. But anywho, I wanted to talk a little bit more. Let's first bring up, because uh, this is about, Highland and, and what's going on here. Uh, this is the Highland Patriots website. To those that might be new, never heard of it, didn't care before, maybe do now, or even those of you that still don't care. Um, so this is the Highland Patriots website that I had put up. <clears throat> I haven't posted anything on the homepage since uh, May 7. So um, anything that anybody wants here, speak up. This is this is your site. This site is for you. I'm just the guy that pushes the buttons, right? So anything you'd like to see on the site, any stories you'd like to see in any any in 
any anything that you would like to see on the site, speak up. Let me know. I don't know if you don't tell me so. So anyway, <clears throat> real quick navigation. When there's like an upcoming meeting, you will typically see it on the right-hand side here. And as this shows, August 19th, there will be a city council meeting. And, um, and so uh, you can also click on the calendar here. And that will take you to the calendar page. And as you can see, August 19th, there's a meeting. If you click on it, there's not much there. Just stuff, pardon me, stuff there waiting to be populated. Other than that, it'll just show you the location. You can click on it. Which, by the way, the city, uh, yeah, your map's broken, yo. So, well, maybe fix it. I don't know. My map's not broken. My map works. So, anyway, <laughs> I'm just, by the way, I'm just picking on the city. I don't mean anything by it. Uh... That sarcastic sense of humor thing. Yeah. Anyway. <clears throat> I even had to move the pin. Because the pin wasn't in the right place. So the pin was like around Broadway. And I mean. I'm sure nobody would have a problem. Of having the council meetings at Broadway Bar and Grill. I mean come on. But uh, that wasn't accurate. So, And as my personality type shows. I had to fix it. So anyway. My map works. City Hall's in the right place. <clears throat> and that's how you see it, right? So, anyway, any upcoming meetings, uh, you'll see the stuff here. And then what happens is when the meetings are over, what I do, and right before the meetings, you know, like as soon as Highland posts the um, the agenda and the packet, I have a um, um, thing on my phone, an app on my phone that will let me know that their web page updated. And then I will go and I will get the agenda in the packet and I upload it to the Highland, uh, yeah, the Highland Patriots website. <clears throat> Pardon me. And then I link it here and then you can view it. So like if you click on agenda, it'll pop up the agenda. You can, you can read it. You also have the option uh, to download it. If you click this here, it'll pop open the box to download the, uh, the uh, PDF. So same with the attachments, the packet. Uh, agenda with attachments otherwise known as the packet um, you can get that as well the minutes they will be approved at the next meeting last night's minutes will be approved at the next meeting and then they'll put those out and then I can put those here and then here's the uh, audio from last night from last night's meeting so you can click on it here and it will open up over here um, or uh, you can also and by the way if you do that I don't know if you can download it yeah you can download it right from here too so, or you can just play it right from here. And you're not going to hear anything because I've got the audio uh, turned down. So, but anyway. <clears throat> you can also download it right from there as well if you choose to. The audio from the meeting. So, anyway, I wanted just to let folks know a little bit about how the site works. How to get around. At least how to find this city council meeting information. And again, I'll say it once, once more. If anybody has any request of what they would like to see on the site within reason um let me know i the site's here for you and i want the site to get a little bit more active uh, especially as the elections roll around and i'm not talking about the big federal elections and all that i'm talking about uh the elections for our city um i'd love to see it get active i had mentioned in a comment that uh i would love to interview the people that are running for the different uh seats or what have you <clears throat> i am absolutely willing to interview uh those individuals um i got no problem with it i've got good equipment that i can interview them with and uh you know i'm me I, i'm not gonna i'm not gonna let anybody bs me and um it's that simple. Um, I'll ask the important questions. I'll ask any important questions I can think of. And I'll actually put it up to where people can uh, submit their request of questions to be asked. And uh, I'll be more than happy to ask the questions. You know, the, the most popular questions that the people want asked. i would be more than happy to do that. Um, I am like a living, breathing lie detector. And um, I can smell bullshit from... A million miles away and I got no problem calling it out so that's just part of who I am um 
<clears throat> Listen, folks, I've, I've had a long road. 52 years old, I've had a long road. Uh, I suffer from COPD, and it, even though I quit smoking in, in 2013, uh, it just slowly getting worse and slowly getting worse. And uh, I suffer from, uh, I believe, some type of degenerative joint issue. And I don't know, because I can't go to the doctor. And that, uh, man, I'll tell you what, it sucks. It, it's not very much fun. Not only that, but um, I have children I love very, very much. And my younger two children, I have not seen since 2013. Not by my choice, but their mom enrolled in the, you know, the uh, government-funded, government-recommended uh, Kick Dad to the Curb Rewards Program. And, um, and so I haven't seen them since. And that tends to have an effect on somebody. They, they, they tend to have very, very little room for bullshit in their lives. And, and that's, that's where I sit, you know. Um, got failing health that I can't do a damn thing about. And um, I miss my boys terribly. And so I'm just trying to do everything I can in my life, everything that I can have any effect on, any change on, to try to make as much of a positive effect as I can. And um, however long that may be, whatever. But I'm supposed to do right, and so I'm trying to do right. And that's why I put so much time and effort into this. Um, same, reason, same thing with, with YouTube and me doing the news for the last 10 years. So, um, let me talk a little bit about last night's meeting real quick and then I'll get out of here. I'm looking at already 20, almost 22 minutes so far. Sorry, but, uh, I really felt like it was important to identify who I was because I'm, I'm catching a lot of crap from people, um, well, that got plenty of, of experience and wisdom to go before they understand, well, life, to be honest. Um, it is what it is. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna, you know, I am not the ass kisser. There's only one ass kisser in my family, and his name's David. You'll have to go find him. He just lives a few blocks over. You'll have to go find him if you're wanting asses kissed. You gotta go to the ass kisser. That's not me. I'm the black sheep. So, um, this isn't to do with last night's. I thought I had last night's open. I will get last night's open. Let me show you how quick and easy it is to get last night's open. <clears throat> Look at that. Look at that. So anyway, um, last night's meeting, there was an issue that I had said something about, like the incre increase in sewer rates. Um, last night, I actually heard them debate um, now how... Genuine, how authentic the debate is, I, I couldn't tell you. Um, I do, I do think that the the mayor was being genuine. Um, I think, I I think, um, sounded genuine to me. And the only reason why I brought it up, and and I would say this to the city. It doesn't matter how minuscule, it doesn't matter how little the increase is. That's not the point. You have people right now that are making decisions on whether to be able to pay their power bill, right? How many How many more people get the orange notices on their doors? I'm sure the city knows there's probably been an increase of it. Um... You know, people have to make decisions on whether they're going to be able to pay power or rent or buy their medication or what what more creative ways are they going to have to come up with to make dinners so that they can eat. I know because we struggle. We struggle so hard to make it from month to month with food now. It's unreal. And I make a lot of stuff because I do all the cooking. And, you know, I make a lot of chili, I make a lot of spaghetti, I, you know, a lot of things that I can stretch as much as I can. And it's getting really hard to do, really hard to do. And I know that 
even if it, I forget what they said, I'd have to open up the packet and look. It was a buck something they were saying for what five, a family of five or a family of four, five thousand gallons or something. I want to say it was like a dollar thirty six or something like that. I would have to, I would have to go through the painstaking trouble of clicking on the packet and letting it load, and then finding it because that's that's a whole another thing finding it. Um, my website, by the way, my web host is slow, but it's cheap. <laughs> All right. This is all uh, stuff that was covered. And I, I am not a fan of bureaucratic paperwork. It's crazy. Kill 15 trees. Have a little meeting. Um, entering. This is. I don't know what that is. Hang on. You should have had it ready, Mike. Yeah, I should have, but me we're talking about. Leave me alone. Get off my lawn. Uh, let's see. Wage rates, all this nonsense. I don't know if I already passed it up or not. Exhibit A. Mm, yeah, this is... I want to say, hang on, I got the agenda over here, or here, or here, yeah, um, yeah, 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 okay, sorry, I know you guys are like, oh, you should have had it ready, I should have, but, that would have made too much sense, substance abuse, <laughs> hang on, let me, And I've got a thing to say about this stuff, too. The, the uh, bureaucratic nonsense. So, I'll probably close with talking about that. I mean, uh, I'm almost there. Aha. <coughs> uh -huh. mm, I thought there was kind of like a summary kind of thing. I know there was. Yeah, I think it was like a dollar thirty six or something like that, and I I hate saying stuff like that and then being being wrong. Um, but it was a small amount, and like I had even made the comment that you know, yeah, here dollar thirty seven. I was a penny off. Sorry, I don't know where I got the thirty six from. So it says the increase amounts to a dollar thirty seven more per month for a family of four using five thousand gallons. Okay, so that's what their claim is that the increase is going to be. And I'm gonna I'm just gonna be honest. I mean, we literally count pennies when we pay our bills. I mean, it is literally that close at this point. Um I do decals. I that's what I've been doing for a while. Uh bulk decals and I've had zero business and that's because I do bulk decals and they are typically used for advertising, right? And there's a lot of uh, a lot of companies, a lot of companies that went under, but there's a lot of other companies that had to cut back on things and one of those things that companies cut back on pretty quickly is advertising, especially things like vinyl cut decals. And so I don't have that extra coming in anymore to help supplement and um you know it's it's been it's been very challenging and yeah a dollar 37 whether it be for us or whether it be for the person that had to pass on on getting a medication or two or the person that had to work something out with their landlord because they couldn't come up with the entire rent that dollar thirty-seven might not mean much to somebody sitting in—I don't know—maybe our council chamber room, 
But you've got a bunch of citizens out here that that dollar thirty-seven means a lot to, and that's a fact. I'm just saying. I know things increase. I get that, but that's why I wanted to bring up like this. Now this is from uh, March. Yeah, this is from March fourth. The meeting from March fourth, and and I know that. Not that long ago, there was talk about the uh, the audio system in the council chamber, and and that they were needing to upgrade it. And I know that they had ta- uh, talked about costs, and I looked for that, and I don't remember exactly what night it was. I looked for it, and I cannot find it, um, the information. But I know that when I heard the dollar amount for having that system done, uh, I I was just in shock. And so I want to, by the way, I know a little bit, just a little bit about audio and video, a little bit. Now, this is something entirely different than audio and video, but I I think it would do well to make my point. So a lot of this is basically... um, a system to be able to access buildings using a key card. Okay? That's essentially what this stuff is. And so, I guess they're setting up um, 15 doors. If I'm, if I'm reading this correctly, they're setting up 15 doors with this, this key card system. And for everything involved in doing that, okay, and it might be more than that, because uh, right here there's 10, um, 10 door wireless, oh, that's a gateway though, um, I'm thinking probably 15 is the answer here, but look at this, to do that, to secure those buildings, it's going to cost over $32,000 and probably already been done. Again, this was back from March 4. Over $32,000. And my guess is to secure 15 doors. Why? And I, I, you know, I'm sure that there's plenty of stuff that I don't understand, that I don't know, I'm totally unaware of. Why? Is there nobody here capable of figuring out how to do this stuff themselves? That the city could have as an employee? That you could just buy the stuff, the equipment outright? And have that employee install it. I mean. I know I can do this stuff. It's not that hard. With a little bit of motivation. With a little bit of willpower. With a little bit of self-determination. You can learn new things. And you don't have to go to some school. And pay tens of thousands. Or hundreds of thousands of dollars. To learn new things. I do it every single day all the time. I learn how to do crazy stuff like this all the time. You can't see my security system, but I've got a fairly decent security system that I put up myself. I install it myself. I manage it myself. Websites. Hello? I'm self-taught on this stuff. I didn't go to school for this stuff. I'm self-taught. So you're telling me that there's not a person that works for the city that could figure out how to do this, that could save probably tens of thousands of dollars. I I bet you could shave half this cost off easily just by having a, a city employee do the work. Maybe there's nobody qualified for that. Maybe you need to send me an application. Because I know for a fact, even if I don't know how to do something, I can damn well figure it out. (sighs) 
I'm just at a loss. And I get it. You know, some people might be asking, well, you know, what's, <laughs> what's wrong with the key? Well, I get what, what these systems are, and I get what they're good for, and I get that they log every entry and exit and all that stuff. And, and unfortunately, we live in a time to where that's necessary. Um, that's for everybody's protection. So I get that part of it. But, and by the way, this is an expensive brand, expensive company. Um, I'm not talking about Elliott Data Systems. I'm talking about Batch Pass. There are much more economical choices out there that are just as secure and work just as well. So you could have saved money that way. I'm just, I am, I'm at a loss. I truly am. And I wished I could find the information on the um, council chamber audio stuff so that I could comment directly as, as to that. I just... I have a hard time when it comes to emergency staff being let go and then spending this kind of money on doors and however much it was for the audio system it could be done better Highland's got a lot of really intelligent really skilled people in it Use those resources. Use those resources. And if it's a matter of, oh, well, we have to do it this way. We have to put out the bid and we have to. If you have, if you have an employee, a city employee that can do it, does that make a difference? I don't know. I have to ask questions because I don't know everything. All I do know is that I want to come up with solutions. I want to find solutions to shave these costs down so that we don't have to get rid of needed things. Again, I don't have a nefarious bone in my body. I just want to try and figure out something that will work in the better interest of the people of the town. And that starts with cutting some of these costs. This stuff is kind of ridiculous. I get you have things that you need to do. But they can be done if you use those resources that you have right here. And if it's not a city employee and it's a matter of, well, the county or the state requires... Remember back when COVID went on? And the people of the city pressured the government of the city. And there was a bunch of middle fingers going up at Pritzker about all the mandates and all that. Remember that? Do you remember way back during Prohibition what the town did in order to stay afloat? Because Prohibition itself would have destroyed, it would have turned this into a ghost town. Sometimes you have to tell the bureaucrats where to go and do the right thing. I'm just saying. Anyway, I'm going to get off here because holy cow, that's like 39 minutes. So, I don't know. I felt like it was needed. Hope everybody has a great day. Hope you either learn something about me that I'm even crazier than you ever thought. Um, something. I know, a 40-minute video. Most of you ain't going to watch past the first three minutes. Anyway, I hope you all have a great day, and shalom.